Tamarun Hatun, Serena, I am returned. Ah, you found each other. Ours is the soil, Hian. The Domans, and the Eorzeans, too. You know us. The gods know you, child. As do the stars in the heavens, which shone bright at your coming. The Mole hearken to the whispers of the Elder Gods, which guide us in our daily lives. We know them through the Utun, like my grandmother. Hatun, I am come to beg a boon of you and yours. That I might liberate my homeland, I seek to rally the strength of the steppe. To that end, I wish to fight in the Nardom as a warrior of the Maw. Will you grant me this honor? To stand with the Maw is fruitless. He and do not do this. The gods may have willed that our tribe join in the Nardom, but... There is no path to victory. We are weak and our numbers few. Even with your help, it would be impossible. I thank you for your concern, Sirena. But it is precisely because of the seeming hopelessness of your cause that we must needs cast our lot with you. Were we to join hands with a more favored tribe, our victory would inevitably be attributed to them, and no one would follow me to Doma. T'was the gods' will that we fight. Mayhap this too is their design. Hear me then. As Hartun of the Mole, I invite you all to join with us in the Nardom. Will you look after them? Come with me, friends. There is much I would show you. You... wait. I would have words. A singular radiance, shimmering, like a jewel of the Dusk Mother, blinding in its brilliance. Stars flicker and flock to you. Before such gathered light, even the secrets of the gods may be laid bare. Some are fated to rise in grace and glory. Others to falter and fade, though not from memory. Both will be your strength and salvation come the end. Cherish the stars and the light they bring you in the dark. For you are a traveler, are you not? She needed the rest, to come so far and carry so much. Hien and his friend, too. Strange that they should vanish so soon.
Not troubled by your old wounds, I see. <laughs> no you by yours. I know I should have fled with the others after father died, instead of blindly fighting on. It was reckless and foolish, and there was naught to be gained from it. Everything to lose, rather. We know no path save the one we walk. I myself am in no hurry to meet those who have gone before. Not while I have still to make amends. Well said. You are none the worse for your time in the wilderness. On the contrary, I would say you have improved. Come now, your victories still far exceed mine. Or have you forgotten all the times you trounced me as a boy? Feared I would not see you again. A life so fortuitously saved should be spent wisely. Without regret would I have traded it for our people's amnesty had it been their will. Instead they have called for the sword, and so that is what I must be. Until this blade is broken, I can but carve a path forward. Were you truly so concerned for my well-being? You never showed it when I used to spar. How you cried when you lost, and when your mother tried to comfort you! And when you inevitably came at me once more, swinging your wooden sword wildly. Mina's little Master Shun. What a fine young man you've become. A man should not be addressed by his childhood name. I've told you about that before. Ah, the mask slips. And I was so close to cultivating a winning persona. There will be opportunity enough for putting on airs after you have returned in triumph to Doma. Now is the time to show our true character. Right. Which makes me think you should join us next time. I dare say you have a secret or two of your own to share.
Mission accomplished. Everything's still in one piece? More or less, I. That mountainous monstrosity came as quite a surprise. Who knew that the steppe held such secrets? I see the two of you emerged similarly unscathed. Well then, by my reckoning, there is not left to prevent us from taking part in the Nardom. Yea, you who have walked Bardom's metal, newborn warriors of the steppe, our Han demands an audience. You will come. I remember those clothes. He's Oronir, isn't he? What should we do? Ordinarily, I would politely decline, but this may be an opportunity to assess their strength. And we do have some time before the Narda begins. If it all goes to plan, they will be fighting for us soon enough. What say you? Shall we go and greet our comrades-to-be? Whatever happens, we shouldn't keep Siren and the others waiting. Let's be ready to make a swift exit, all right? We accept your Han's generous invitation. Lead the way. Two banners. So it's not just Oranir we're dealing with. Most radiant brother Magni, we have brought the ones you seek. You conquered Bardem's metal. As warriors of the Mol, I. You were the Han here, yes? Why have you summoned us? Mayhap to propose a joint endeavor? Nay, Doman, we shall not speak as equals. Born of the sun are Oranir, and born of the earth are you. When I learned of trespassers, I bade my warriors take their measure to flay them if they failed. But if by the grace of Azim they should survive their trials and emerge anointed, then bring them hither to pay tribute. Tribute, should it prove satisfactory, shall earn you the favor of the sun. His beloved shall bask in his radiance, and their supplications be duly considered. So you want us to bow down and serve you? What if we don't feel like it? The Defiant will suffer in shadow. 
It would be an affront to the resplendent Azim himself to refuse this generous offer when by rights you should be condemned. But, in lieu of tribute, swear fealty to the sun. Pledge to him your body and soul. Promise to serve him unto death, and you may know his glory. A generous offer granted to but few, though perchance this is too merciful. Hmm. It seems our brothers of the Budaga want you. The men only. Like the Borlak and women. Though you know them not either, I'm sure. No matter. All you need know is that you will serve, one way or another. That much does indeed seem plain. However, as we are but newborn warriors who know little of your customs, we struggle to conceive of ways in which we might be of service to the most gracious and illustrious son. You make mock of us, Doman. Do not do so again. You will be given a task. It will be difficult. You will carry it out. When you have accepted this, you may ask me what it is. 